Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Indian Gamer, and welcome to your Daily Life Commentary. Today playing more Xenotic, actually the very same server, very same set of people that I was on uh, the last time I had this game up, because like I said, servers for this game, it's sometimes rare when you find a good populated one online. Usually you have to get friends together or play against bots. At least for me, I can never really find servers full for this game, because it doesn't have much exposure. And I am just going to keep playing it until this uh, server dies down, and I'm going to spread the games out throughout a few days. So here we are on... Actually, I don't even know what this map is. Solarium, I think, is the name of the map. Solarium, Solarium. Picking up the next here. Trying to get this guy, but it looks like I'm going to have to just shotgun him, to shotgun him down, because I can't nail that next shot. Thankfully, he wouldn't turn around. And these guys, I'm just kind of walking through them. They're they're really nice guys, though, so far. Nobody's really raging. Nobody's being a jerk. And that's something that I'm really appreciating because I'm... Some of these guys I am just kind of walking through, but others not so much. And it's just fun. It's a very fun match right now. Uh, I don't really know this map. I should do some more stuff in this game and really learn these maps more. Using this rocket launcher again. Trying to guide these shots, just like that. The weapon is kind of overpowered. The uh, way that you can guide it is just a little too extreme, I think. I don't think it actually needs the guiding capabilities. I think the ability to blow it up in midair is more than enough. I think that makes it just powerful enough being able to blow it up like that. This guy has the strength power-ups. It's essentially the quad damage. I actually don't know if quad is it's quad damage or double damage in Xenotic. That's actually something I'm unsure of. This guy's going to kill me, yep. I just couldn't land those last... I probably needed one more rocket to kill that... Finish him off. You should be almost dead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's just swing... Up... Over... Nope. That's not going anywhere. I actually could almost just throw up these matches, not even commentate, ow, took, I really doubt that was, oh, you're AFK, I will leave you be. I think last match I killed a guy that was typing, I'm not really sure because I think there was somebody else in that area that I was fighting, I'd actually have to go back and look at that, and I feel bad about that, especially when I'm live commentating and I'm already in a lead or at least in second place like I am now, and, um... I don't like killing AFKs when I'm actually in the running to win a match. If I'm way behind, then I'm all for it. If I'm not really gonna, it's not gonna cause me to win the match and just cheese it. Because I'm like, oh look, there's an AFK, I killed him and I got the one point that caused me to keep the lead on this guy and win. Ah, oh, I was getting shot in the back. That explains why my health was going down. That explains that very thoroughly. And the melee in this game is really weird. It's more like a trace line is drawn like it's actually a gun. There is some a substantial range to it. Very nice mortar use by that person, though. Avoided all of my melee attacks and was actually able to take me down with the mortar. Um, pretty impressive plays. And this game is a lot like Quake. It's a game where you can just have a lot of fun even when you're the one getting killed, when you're the one that's losing. Although right now, I... I think that I'm really kind of doing pretty good against these guys, and I think it's because I've been playing it with my friends a lot, and I actually do have a little more experience probably than some of these guys because it is harder to get a server. And I don't know, or I'm just in the zone right now. I'm trying not to sound like I'm gloating because I'm really not trying to gloat. Like, look, I'm winning. That's really not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to... I guess I'm a little more surprised because normally in arena shooters, I am not the person that wins matches. I'm not the one that actually leads the server, that gets the kills, the one that holds a steady lead. That's usually not me in these shooters because usually I get killed just because I'm not all that good. But this actually seems to be a game that I am not actually bad at. I am actually seem to be actually halfway decent at Xenotic and maybe if I didn't play against a uh, wrench who can dominate, le dominate me like I'm nothing... I would probably be better, although, or I would probably feel better, but, I don't know, like I said with the Carbine video that I put up a while ago, for those of you that watch my Halo 4 stuff, using a weapon that's uh, worse to get better in that sense is kind of the same thing when it comes to actually other players. 
when you're fighting people that are much better than you at a game and they can really dominate you and you get better at fighting them because of it, then when you face somebody who's not as good, you're going to be much better against them because you're used to fighting somebody of a much higher caliber. It's like Wrench is probably the best pyro you will ever see in Team Fortress 2. He is by far one of the best gamers you will ever see in general. I don't know what it is. It's like he was genetically modified in the womb and that's just what he was made to do was be good at games. And he is the best pyro you will ever see in your life. And he taught me how to be a good anti-pyro by fighting him. He still gives me a very good run for my money and still really tears me up. But when I fight other pyros that aren't him, I destroy them a lot of times because I'm so used to fighting a pyro that knows what he's doing, that knows how to air blast, that knows how to do different things, that when something someone who's not as good as him comes along to fight me, I just tear him apart. And I guess that's kind of what just happens in games. I don't know why I'm getting on this tangent right now. I guess I'm just trying to fill time using this Ravager, Ravager Assault Rifle. Wow, I'm calling it the name that it had in the Nexus release. I apologize to fans of Xenotic for that. I sincerely apologize. That's kind of mean to call it that. Where am I getting shot from? From right next to me. That's where I was getting shot from. Right next to me. Where are you? There you are. Ow. There we go. 35 HP left. Get out of here. Or lag past the people that I'm trying to shoot. That works as well. I don't know why I am lagging right now. Everyone seems to be lagging a bit. Or it's just me. No, my ping is 49. It must just be the servers lagging. I wonder if this is actually a server or someone's actually hosting this on their machine at home. Because that, that happens in this game too. Ow! That hurt. I think they both had rockets and both gunned them for me. Stop running from me, my goodness. Pick up the rocket, actually get a weapon this time. I have no idea what happened. I think he got stuck there. Match goes to 30. I one more kill and I win. Right out of the air. There we go. Another match. GG, everybody. If you want to see more Xenotic, let me know because this is I'm having a lot of fun with this right now. Dark Zone is coming up in the next live commentary that I'll have on Xenotic. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. My name is Matt, and I will see you next time.